Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to start to look at the loft feature in Onshape. And as you can see on the screen there are four different activities we're going to work through. Uh, starting off with the green, so the emerge activity and then progressing towards the master activity in purple. So if we're going to start with the emerge activity. So as normal, as you can see at the bottom we have a number of tabs. So the first tab here gives you access to extra resources and the links. You have this tab, which is the PDF, which gives you links to the individual okay, tutorial videos via YouTube. And then what we've got in this particular okay, document is a drawing. And we've also got a completed part or model here as reference as well. So in this first activity, it's just a quick introduction. And we're going to look at how you can Okay, merge basically two uh, 2D sketches into a 3D shape. So be a simple loft as you can see here. So what we're going to do first of all is click on the plus. And I'm going to click on create part studio. A tab will appear at the bottom after a few seconds. So we can right click on this. We're going to rename it tutorial and just click off that to confirm it. And we can move this okay, up and down depending on where we want to place it. So I'm going to place it in between okay, these two here. So if we have a look at the drawing, what we've got is a square base, which is 100 by 100, and then an offset from that okay, of 100. And then at the top, we have basically a 100 millimeter okay, diameter circle. So that's quite easy to do. So if we go back to this tab here, we're going to click sketch and click on this top work plane, press N for normal. And I'm going to start with a center rectangle. We could click on the origin and then we're going to click to confirm that, type in 100 and enter. So we've got this square at the bottom now, like so. I'm going to just kind of confirm that sketch. I can name that if I want, so I can name that, okay, bottom profile just to make it easier to see what we've got on the side there. So what I'm going to do now is just check the drawing again. So it is okay, an offset of 100 millimeters here from top to bottom. So we're going to create a offset work plane. So I'm going to select the top work plane, go into plane here, okay, or you can find in here just in case you've used some of the tools before. So plane, and what we're going to do is a simple offset plane of 100 millimeters. So we could drag that up and we can also type in here, so 100, okay? And click tick to confirm that. So you can now see I've got an extra plane which we can sketch on. So I'm gonna click sketch, sketch in that work plane, press N again to normalize. Then we're gonna go for a circle. So C for circle, I'll click on circle. I'm gonna click, drag that out. And I'm gonna type in 100 and enter to confirm that. So if we click tick, and again, we can name that one. So I'm going to go top profile, if I could spell. There we go. So it's good to name things in case you've got loads of sketches to be identify that later on. And what we've got now is these two sketches. Okay. So if I click on a normal extrude and click this one here, you will see that will just extrude okay, into cuboid. And if I click on the circle, it'll go into a cylinder. Now what we want to do is sort of merge between those two and create a 3D shape. So we're gonna use something called a loft. So we click on loft, we've got the normal options here. So we're gonna click new, cause this is the first feature. If I add other features within this design, I could click uh, add to merge that in if I wanted to. And I, you can actually use a, a, a loft for a remove and an intersect. And we'll look at that in future videos. So we're going to go for solid and new. So profiles, I can select the profiles here like this, okay, or I can select them on the left hand side as well. So I'm just going to click the bottom one first, and then I'm going to click the top one. And what Onshape does is merges those together, okay, in the sort of the straightest line and the shortest distance like so. And that's the simplest technique that you can do. You can also look in here where you've got these different conditions and you can change these. And depending on the shapes that you've used, okay, you will get 
a slightly different variation. So if we have a look from this view here, I click F for fit so we can see what's happening. If we click on normal to profile, you can see that it slightly changes that profile from the start, okay, and again to the end. So you see that sort of slight shape there, okay, changes. The magnitude, when we're going into too much detail and complicated things, if you change the magnitude and change the value, okay, that will change, okay, the shape and how that merges it together. So you can see I typed in three there for type in two. You can see how that shape and how, the, how it flows between those two. And again, you could change that one as well. And you can look at this at different angles and decide on if that is, okay, the shape that you want to flow between the two, okay, profiles. We will look later how you can add extra sketches to control that further and use what are called guides okay so we'll do that later so what i'm going to do is just click on none and none i want that just to merge okay simply between those two shapes and again you do have additional one options near tangent to profile match tangent and match curvature and when you click on these again you'll get extra options to affect the shape so I'm just going to go up to there and confirm that. And then I've got a part here now. So it's created a part. And if we go to the reference model, we can see we've created a shell. And if we click on edit, we've got an internal shell of 10 millimeters. So if we go back to the tutorial tab, okay, go to shell, type in 10. And as you see, that creates an internal because I've got the arrow pointing, okay pointing inwards and that's created a shell like that now what we could do now is we could rename that part here and we can also assign a material so I'm going to assign okay clean that box there and assign ABS to top option click tick and I'm going to check on the mass properties of that so the mass properties is 0.401 so if I go to this one and click on properties and check that one it's 0.401. Okay, so that's the easiest way to check if you've created your model, uh, which matches basically the one we intended to do. If it doesn't, you need to check the dimensions. Okay, so if we come out of that, all right, if that didn't match, you'd have to check your dimensions in the profiles and also check the options that you've applied in the loft and the shell to match that up. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.